controller. I love video games, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo. It really don't matter to me, man. Who ready to play? Hold up, the game here got something to say. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, God Shepherd, and I'm back with another video. As some of you may know, I'm a hip hop recording artist, and you know where you can find my music, so I ain't gonna get into all of that stuff. I might leave a link or so in the description below. But anyway, welcome to Gamehead. My video uh, that I did before this one, you know, I titled it, Go Get That, Keep That. So I was talking about some games and things that I liked uh, concerning the Xbox One. Uh, I'm going to keep doing some videos like that until I think of other videos or until some other ideas come along. So anyway, when I'm doing that, I'm just going to discuss certain games that I like that I think you guys should go get if you don't got it and that I think you guys should keep in your collection. Uh, th that you shouldn't trade, you know, I don't, I don't like trading anyway. So, that's what we're going to do, and today we're going to be talking about some games on the PS4. Alright, so I got four games, man, I want to discuss uh, on the P that I like on the PS4, and I'm going to start with number four. Alright, number four, man, Republic. This game right here. Man, I like this game, awesome game. I remember this game, man, back on like the... The mobile devices and PC um, so I'm kind of happy that they brought this to the PS4 uh, great game um, when you're playing this game uh, you don't play as the character here uh, hope really you uh, you're like this person like in the background that's uh, guiding her uh, through the board you know helping her uh, sneak around by uh, hacking into the cameras and and things of that nature so this game man is number four on my list I like it beautiful game um, uh, beautiful as in I like the way they made it and I like the ideas and the concept behind it or whatever not visually it's all right um, it's not as beautiful as some other games I've seen but um yeah this is number four on the list do you guys got this game? Number four. All right, number three. Number three. Is this right here? Check that out right there. Number three is Tesla Grad. Tesla Grad. Tesla Grad. It's, it's this right here. So uh, this game, man, I've been looking for this game for a while. Uh, as you can see, I haven't opened it. I got a lot of games I ain't opened, y'all. But I haven't opened it. I, I watched a couple friends play this game. I mean, man, you're this boy. You're running around, and it's a 2D, yeah, 2D side-scrolling like puzzle platforming type game. And you really don't know what the story is all about until you really get deep into the game. And I mean, you can get power-ups like you get these little gloves or your fists, and you can power up and do some great stuff uh, in here. So Tesla Grad, it's a beautiful, it's a vi visually it's good, well put together, I believe. And this is a game that you can go get that and keep that. I mean, this, if, if you already got it, keep it. And like I said, I had been looking for this game for a while and couldn't get my hands on it. So I had to go and get this from the United Kingdom, you know. Well, I didn't go. I kind of found it and got it shipped here. So it's a UK import. So, yeah. And if you ain't seen my video on UK imports or any type of import, they will work on your PS4. So, yeah, this is number three. Beautiful game. Can't wait to play it. All right. Now, this one was a toss-up. I, I was like, man, one or two. I didn't know. But anyway, number two right here. Number two. I mean, this is, to me, this is a must. Go get that. Keep that. <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, sign, sin, sin, mora, ex. Uh, this game, man, it, it uh, there's there's one before, it, basically minus the ex. The difference, uh, I believe in this is you got co-op now. Uh, you got uh, some different challenges and different other modes you can play now. But other than that, oh, and it's visually it looks a little bit better. But other than that, it's almost basically the same game. Uh, but it's a it's a two, it's a two D uh, side scrolling shoot 'em up game, and I love shoot 'em ups. I mean, if you like shoot 'em ups, 
this is a, a must get right here. This is this is awesome uh, just to sit down and play. Again, I like games that allow me to just relax and waste some time and, and, and still have some fun. So and you can do that with this game. Awesome game, beautiful game. It's worth your dollar. I think it's about $20 or so. Uh, so it's worth it. And I believe it's coming out on the Nintendo Switch. If you guys got a Switch, get this game if you don't already have it. I'm thinking about getting it again. So, yeah, that tells you how good it is. So, good game right here. I ain't done with it yet. I mean, I mean some of them challenges is really challenging. It's, it's hard, but great game. Number two. All right. I mean, drum roll for this one. This is number one. Like I said, it was a toss-up. So, let's just... <laughs> I'll let them come. Right there, man. Hitman. Woo! The Steel Book <laughs> Edition. Man, this game. Beautiful, nice, great. I mean, action packed, in my opinion. I don't know what you guys think. But yeah, this, I mean, I remember playing my first Hitman game on the original Xbox. Uh, this, they've done great with, with Hitman. I just don't know what else to really say. I mean, and it takes place, I mean, this, oh, this, it's a, it's an episodic type adventure, man. So you get, like, episodes. So you, you shooting them up, choking them out, and then it's like, previously on Hitman. Or, you know, I don't, yeah, I, I really haven't finished it yet. So, but, you know, that's what I mean by episodic. So it's an episodic adventure, for those that don't know. And it's, uh, it's great. Has, you know, many different episodes. And I mean, the first one, man, you're, you're just, I got on, um, I believe the play PS4, I downloaded the first uh, episode for free. And when I got through with it, I was like, man, I got to go get that. So I went out and got it and I'm going to keep it. And if you got it, keep it. If you don't got it, go get it. It's worth it. I mean, look, look at that. Look at this still book. It's worth it. And you know, in the first episode, man, you're like kind of training and going through some things of that nature, but it takes place like years back, years before Hitman was Hitman. I mean, he's basically in training to become an agent. This is, like I said, it's taking place for him to finally become an agent and do the things that we know him to do way back in the other games. So, yeah, that is number one. Go get that. And when you get it, keep it. So that's number one. So what are you guys' thoughts? Do you think I had them in order from four to one? Do you think that was a good order or whatnot? Uh, I, I'd like to hear what you guys thought about all of that and what you think as uh, far as the games. Do you guys have these games? Do you think they're awesome? Do you plan on getting them if you don't? And do you plan on keeping them? Uh, and Oh, before I go, I got something right here that I want to unbox real quick. Uh, I, I was going to do two separate videos, but I just figured, well, what the heck, let's just throw this in there. Uh, I get a lot of the things from like Amazon and, and from people and stuff like that. And you, if you know me, I like to get them, get the stuff when the price is as low as it can be. Because I don't think I it, I should have to pay all of that. Or sometimes the stuff is given to me. Kind of like this right here. So we're going to unbox this real quick and see what it's all about. So basically what I got here is some um, controller stands. I mean, it's pretty old. These things have been out for a while, but... I really got tired of throwing my controllers around, sitting them around, so I wanted to have something nice to sit them on and have like a stand. So let's let's get into it. But yeah, it's an Xbox One controller stand, so we're gonna get this on the box here. Yeah, there you there you guys go. Throw that aside. Throw that to the side. And yeah, there it is right there. It's a controller stand. There's the symbol. Flips back like that. Oh, and you got this little compartment under here. Hide some stuff in there. <laughs> yeah, no. Can't be nothing too big, but yeah. So there that is. Sits there like that. And then we got another one here. Let's open that up. And 
there you go. It's the PS4 controller stand. I think I'm going to probably go out and purchase a couple more of these. Who knows? I mean, if I get into collecting a bunch of controllers. But yeah, there that is. There it is sitting in there. Throw that to the side. Whew. All right, and there we go. Flips down like that. And it also has a compartment in there too to hide some stuff or put batteries, whatever you want in there. <laughs> All right. So there those stands are. You guys can see those stands. I mean, and then got my controller here and fits on like so. I think that's nice. And here we are with the Xbox One controller. Woo. It slides on like that. Looks great. And I think that uh, just off placing those on there, the PS4 controller stand is it's snug. It's more... I mean, it'd slip off, but it's it's more snugger than say that than that. I mean, this probably could fall off, but I think all around there, some nice stands. They look pretty cool there. Uh, do you guys got some stands like that? What do you guys think about them? But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I know you wasn't expecting the unboxing, but like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me your thoughts on the games that I shared. Uh, again, are you gonna go get them, and are you gonna keep them? If you got them, are you gonna trade them? I mean, what are your thoughts about these uh, these games? And the stands too. Peace out. I'll be back again with another video. Yeah.